Joining us for your 5 News at 6, I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. Hours of discussion on amending the mask mandate ban in Arkansas today ended without a decision. Yeah, it comes after the governor called the House and Senate for a special session to talk about pandemic unemployment assistance and the law that prevents schools from implementing mask mandates. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker is in the studio with us and listened in on all that discussion today, Catherine. The House Committee on Public Health and Welfare and Labor spent more than three hours today discussing a bill that would amend the law that makes it impossible for schools to require masks. Before that meeting started this afternoon, the Senate and House gathered for about five minutes before going into recess until tomorrow. My concern, obviously, is this. Uh, I can't teach our kids if they are quarantined. Marion School District is seeing an outbreak of COVID-19 in their schools after starting the school year early two weeks ago. Last week, 10 people tested positive and almost 170 people were quarantined. So far this week, 27 people have tested positive and more than 560 people have had to quarantine. Superintendent Glenn Fenner says this underscores why requiring masks in school is so important so that students wouldn't be at home. They would be learning and we would not be disrupting our economy uh, with those students being sent home and their parents having to assume the immediate responsibility for not only monitoring their activity but supporting their academic uh, endeavors. House Bill 1003 would amend Act 1002 that bans mask mandates. Representative Julie Mayberry says this bill would only allow districts with at least 50 COVID-19 cases per 10,000 people in a two-week period to require masks. This would have to be voted on by the district school board, and they can only require masks for 60 days. When a child goes home, the parent also has to go home. So that nurse that was staffing the hospital, taking care of your loved one that is there, whether it's for COVID or car accident or a heart attack, now is not there. Pamela Boyd Shields, who is a mom and grandma, spoke against the bill, saying wearing masks should be the parent's decision. I believe I'm as smart as anybody in this room. And for you to say that a school district is smarter than I am is the wrong answer. Members of the House committee did express support for the bill, but before voting on it, they wanted to see some changes be made. Representative Mayberry pulled her bill to make those changes, and then it will be heard again. Earlier today, I spoke with Senator Letting, who said any amendment to the mass bill would need an emergency clause to go into effect by the time that school starts. And he says that will likely not happen because emergency clauses need two-thirds votes, and they don't have those votes. All right, Catherine, thanks. New tonight.